One of the very cool things with the Oracle database is if you have a lot of data to load, we have some facilities that let you uh, turbo boost the normal ways of doing inserts, etc. Those things include parallelism and direct mode path and various other optimizations. But this one, we're just gonna focus on direct load. So let's say I'm gonna create a table called employee two, and it's just a subset of the columns from the scott.m table. So I get employee name, ename, salary, commission, and I'll start it with empty, so it'll be one equals zero to make sure the table starts off with empty. Now, obviously scott.m doesn't have a lot of rows in it, but let's use it for as an example. Let's say I want to copy the data from scott.m into my new table in direct mode because it's very, very fast and very, very efficient. To access that, I do the append hint, so into the append, and select my various columns from scott.emp, and hey presto, 14 rows created in the blink of an eye. The cool thing with the direct path mode is it could be 14 million rows, and it's almost just as quick. It's incredibly fast. But direct mode insert comes with some downsides. Let's say this is part of an application. I've just done a big load of data. I want to now validate that this has actually worked correctly before I go ahead and commit that transaction. Because if there's some data corruption or something's gone wrong or I loaded the wrong data, I wanna know before I commit it. So a natural thing I might want to do is query the data I just loaded. But if I run a select star on the table, I get this error. Cannot touch the data after modifying it. It says in parallel, but effectively it means any kind of direct mode operation of which parallel also includes. So this is a bit of a problem because one of the first things we often want to do after we've done a direct load insert is validate that the thing worked as we expected. And in all releases of the Oracle database, you have to commit in order to do that, which is sort of a maybe shutting the gate after the horse has bolted. Let me now run that same demo on 23C. I'll connect to Scott on my 23C beta. I'll drop my employee to table and recreate it once again uh, employee name, ename, salary, commission from scott.emp where one equals zero. Now I run a direct mode insert just like I did on a previous release. My 14 rows are there. Now I don't want to validate it. Guess what? It works just fine. Even though I haven't entered the transaction, I can now query that data that I've just loaded to do any kind of validation. Moreover, we've improved the concept of the direct load itself. Currently, in all releases, if you do a direct load, even if you don't query the data, you get one shot at it. So you do a direct load, then you have to commit or roll back. Here, I haven't yet committed the first direct load, and yet I can run another direct load. I'll simply copy the same information again, no employee, ename, and sal from scott.m. So this is gonna give me 28 rows, all in the one transaction. There's my 28 rows, and it's all done. So you can see now that in 23C, a, you can query the data after you've direct loaded it, so that's gonna make validation much, much easier. And also, you can do multiple direct loads in a single transaction. You're not now limited just to the one direct load. So that makes direct load operations, which give those performance benefits, much more accessible now in data loading applications.